Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be showcasing some battles with Return Banette. This is a purified Banette obviously it has Return. Uh, pairing up with uh, Aquatail Drapion and Powder Snow Nine Tails. Uh, this is a trainer named Ben, uh, I believe from Australia. Very talented trainer. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. And uh, yes, let's see how it goes in the Halloween Cup. Oh, I actually have the Pokemon mixed up. That's okay. It's actually Nine Tails lead. I guess that makes sense actually. I don't know why. Like, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's continue on. All right, we have Nine Tails into Mawile. Obviously, uh, very badly there. Going to go straight into um, Drapion, and uh, no, um, no Crunch. Um, carrying a Sludge Bomb instead. Aquatail makes sense in this meta because uh, mostly because of uh, Needle Queen, and then uh, um, I guess in this mirror match too. So Drapion is pretty tough for this team. Right, because it does, uh, or like any Dark Poison is pretty tough for this team. But let's see how this is going to get played out. Going to throw a bunch of Aqua Tails. And again, they don't do that much damage, but they are chipping away at this uh, fellow Drapion. Next, uh, Aqua Tail should KO oh, on both sides. So, oh, we're actually going to shield this. Interesting. She's going to switch out into, okay. This is an interesting call. Gonna go for the Gleam. Uh, the Power Snow is uh, single resisted because of this, uh, Steel Typing. And then the, the Fire Fangs are obviously super effective. Uh, Mawile is pretty glassy. Uh, a pop, pop is uh, neutral here, so I don't think it'll KO. Um, and gonna be able to reach another, uh, uh, reach a Weather Ball, uh, which will likely threaten the Mawile, which they, which they do end up shielding. Okay, do you sack the... Okay, not going to sack. Okay, going to let this go. This is likely a pop. Yeah, very nice. Does not do very much damage. And they actually come into Drip Blim. Going to Shadow Ball this uh, Blim. And we're going to say good goodbye to this uh, bl Drip Blim. They're blasting off away, as uh, some people would say. Uh, likely going to shield this and then look to farm all the way down. And uh, take out... This uh, Drapion and then Shadow Ball, this Mawile, uh, which has pretty much has no energy left and going to be able to easily take it out with this Shadow Ball. Very tough lead, uh, but was able to uh, take him out on top. Very nice. Similar team construct, like a uh, Fairy with a Dark Poison, in this case Drapion. Oh, okay. Looks like this uh, battle started in the middle for some reason, uh, but that's quite all right. Uh, no crunch does make this awkward, this matchup with, uh, Frostless quite awkward. Gonna throw the weather ball. Okay. I have no idea what the lead was, but that, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, is able to take out the Frostless. Very nice combo play out of completely nowhere. Um, they do come into, uh, Trapion. Um, gonna let this go. Uh, it's an Aqua Tail. Not a big deal. Gonna look to land this Dazzling Gleam. Uh, which do quite a bit of damage to the Shadow Drapion. Probably almost KOs. It doesn't quite KO. Uh, gonna let this go and look to Shadow Claw down. And then I, I don't know what could possibly be to... Oh, okay. Well, that is uh, really not pleasant here. Uh, honestly, a Shadow Ball probably KOs it. Um, these Shadow Claws are doing a lot. Okay, gonna shield. Hopefully no debuff here. Gonna go for the return. Oh, it does get debuffed. But the poison, it shouldn't be able to poison sting down. Hopefully this KOs. It does KO, very nice. Yeah, Shadow Shadow Tyranitar doesn't want to take any charge moves, especially from a, even a resisted one uh, from a high attack uh, Bennett, so. All right, we're gonna have Nine tails into Frostlass is okay, right? It's not a terrible matchup. Uh, they do resist the Powder Snow. It's going to try to catch the Shadow Ball. Uh, we'll see whether or not they throw the Shadow Ball or they'll throw the Avalanche. Okay, they do throw the Shadow Ball. Still does quite a bit of damage. Um, was trying to CMP tie um, with them, or actually, maybe this is the uh, bluffing the Crunch. Uh, this is enough for the avalanche. Uh, we'll see. 
Oh, okay. I, I, why why is this? Why do these videos keep bouncing around here? Okay, that that was what happened. Okay, let me see what happened in that previous one. It was actually just a one minute video. Okay, the recording must have cut out. Okay, that was honestly I I they won. That I honestly maybe it's I I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're gonna have a nine tails into Tox Crow. Is okay matchup right there hitting with neutral counters. Um, mud bombs will be neutral, the sludge bomb will be super effective. Uh, we'll see whether or not what they'll do here. Was trying to catch the sludge bomb, I think he let this go. The mud, even the mud bomb wouldn't KO. Um, does do quite a bit of damage. Gonna reach the aqua tail, and uh, they do end up shielding. And uh, nice farming by the opponent. Gonna let this go. We're gonna wait the clock out and then look to Shadow Claw down. Ooh, able to Shadow Claw down, which is really nice. They come into Sableye. Okay, well, this is uh, not super pleasant. Probably gonna look to switch afterwards. They almost for sure shield this. This would do. Oh my goodness, that. What the heck? Okay. Uh, okay, they do come into Hex Marowak. Well, that's actually that's actually terrible here. Uh, okay, I'm assuming that they have a, a... Oh, man, they even have Bone Club here, which is definitely worst-case scenario. Okay, this is likely a Bone Club here, right? Um, it is a Bone Club. Okay, going to throw the Gleam. Maybe can win this though, to be honest, because uh, Gleam will do quite a bit of damage. Okay, all right. I. Oof, okay. Maybe if you deny. Okay, it uh, doesn't go for the deny, but I think we'll get outpaced here. But uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we'll easily get outpaced, unfortunately. They end up making the, the right call. Man, the Drapion was actually really good in the back, especially since they had Hex, uh, Hex Marowak. Uh, very unfortunate situation uh, uh, for them. Toxic Road, double ghost. All right, we're going to have Ninetales into Drapion. Probably going to look to catch the Sludge Bomb. So pro maybe throw the Weather Ball. Okay, this is Aqua Tail. Okay, that's quite all right. And they do come into Scizor. Oof, okay. Wow, these bullet punchers are doing a tremendous amount of damage. Um, they do reach the Night Slash. Oh, they got the boost too. Oof. Oh, that is absolutely terrible. That is, that is real bad. That is very bad. And they do bullet punch down. Oof, okay. Uh, this is likely a Night Slash. But man, these bullet punches are gonna do quite a bit. Oh man, even that Night Slash did a lot. And this is likely gonna be a CMP tie, which they'll end up losing. Oh, I don't really know here how you can uh, possibly win this match. I'm gonna throw the Aqua Tail. Uh, we'll see if they shield. They do not. And look to switch out right away. And they do come into Dragalgy. Okay, okay, and this is interesting here. Um. Oh man, okay. Oh, interesting that they're staying here. This is this is very weird that they're staying. Okay, well, they're gonna have to get uh Is there a shield up? Oh man. Okay, there is a shield up. Yeah, there's no way. There's absolutely no way they can win here. Uh, maybe you could switch here and try to get to the Aqua Tail, but they would have to like really screw up to have uh, any chance here. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, definitely going to be game over. And going to get Poison Sting down. Oof. Oof. Unfortunate uh, that they ended up no shielding. All right. Yeah, very uh, tough situation there. 
All right, we're gonna have Nine Tails into Needle Queen. This matchup is not so bad when you have Weather Ball. Um, interesting, they didn't throw. And then maybe look to switch after this. Okay, not gonna switch. Okay, going to go for the Simul KO. Interesting strategy there. Maybe they didn't want the next Pokemon to farm. Okay, well this is actually pretty okay. This is actually very okay. This is exactly where you want to see it. Going to throw the Sludge Bomb. They don't end up shielding, which makes sense because it's not too common new. Not every Pokemon has this. Uh, this is a very uh, unconventional moveset. Okay, you're gonna throw another sludge bomb and we'll see uh, what the opponent wants to do. Okay, it is a frost last. Okay, well, this is should be okay. Should be able to just shadow claw down, double shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. should be okay. Two, three, four. Okay, yeah, there's no way they can double up. Even if they could get to another one, uh, they'd be low enough that you could just poison sting down. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, they're just going to leave the matchup. But now, just too high of attack with those Shadow Claws. Uh, just absolutely uh, destroying the Frost Lass. All right, we have uh, Nine Tails into Azumarill. Okay, let's see if they switch. Okay, they're going to stay. Hmm. A favorable matchup for... Azumarill, since it does uh, resist the Power Snows. But it still does quite a bit. This is a play rough. Let's see if they switch. They do switch out. Okay, they switch into... Okay, okay this is interesting. Uh, it does switch out, and then they, they basically both uh, blind switch in that situation. Uh, isn't that one short? Maybe they snuck a move in. Um, okay, they did get an extra one in, so they'll likely CMP tie on this uh, next move. Okay. It's enough, in theory, if they got to their part on the first one, it is enough for the second one here. Okay. Um, going to throw the... Well, it's going to be a CMP. You're going to lose the CMP here. Oof, okay. Wow, this is... Uh, it's getting pretty bad here. Um, <laughs> hopefully you can... Uh, okay, interesting they switch out here. Okay, gonna throw the Shadow Ball. Let's see if they shield. Maybe, maybe if they shield this, yeah, and then you shield and Shadow Claw down. And then uh, Ball or Return, whatever is in the back. Let's see, you should be able to Shadow Claw down. We'll have to Shadow Claw down the Needle Queen, though. Yeah, we'll have, definitely have to... Oh, okay. Not going to Shadow Claw down the Needle Queen. Um, okay, maybe they figure that they don't need 100 energy. Oh, it is a Frost Last. Okay. Uh, end up being... Uh, I think they would definitely be able to Shadow Claw down, but this worked out perfectly fine and going to be able to take out the Frost Last. Very nice play. And... Uh, we're going to see. We have uh, Nine Tails into Scrafty. Okay, kind of where you want to see it. Interesting that they stayed. They do pup here. Uh, this is kind of nasty here, to be honest. All these pups are really going to add up. Let's see if they bait or they go for it. They are going to bait. And then maybe catch the pup. I don't know. Oh my gosh, they called the bait there. Ugh, that is nasty there. Um, another pup. You switch here. Okay, gonna stick it out and get to this. Oh god, that's actually pretty terrible here. Ah man, you have to shield this. Please don't bait. Please don't bait. Okay, they did. Okay. Can uh, throw it six, three, four, five, six. Okay, very nice play. 
Um, let's see if they shield. They do have the move. They do shield. Okay, but that's okay. You shield this and then shadow claw down. I'm assuming they switch here though, but this um but now with energy is gonna go pretty insane against the rest of the back line. Let's see. Uh okay, gonna throw the shadow ball at this um uh Golbat. Oh man, we say goodbye to Golbat. Okay. Oh man. Oh god, that's actually very bad here. That is very, very bad here. This is actually absolutely terrible here. Um Oh man, this is uh really needs crunch here. Uh and unfortunately this Aquatel almost certainly will not KO. Need or needed to switch, uh, but two oh man, they kinda also need the Shadow Claw damage there. Oh man, it looked like it was gonna set up. I think they should have uh could they not have Shadow Claw down? Uh or maybe I'm thinking okay, no no. What am I talking about? Um yeah, there's no there's no really other way for them to win that situation. Uh the moveset unfortunately did not pay off for them. Yeah, it did not end up paying off. Oof. No crunch there. It was, uh... Okay. Uh, interesting. Maybe we're going to try to catch. Okay, it does try to catch. We'll see if they Shadow Ball their Bubble Beam. There's no chance they Ice Beam. They do Shadow Ball. And... You kind of had to hope that they switch out. Okay, going to let this go, right? You really had to hope they switch out here. It's actually a okay. That's actually really nice there. That actually switched out because uh, this uh, Drapion does definitely does not have a positive matchup for this is uh, versus this Jellison. Uh, it almost certainly would lose to Jellison uh, without Crunch. Should be able to reach another one here, which is pretty nice. And uh, we'll see what they want to do here. They do end up shielding. They will have to throw the Earth Power. The Poison Fang definitely would not KO. I think you let this go, though. They do Poison Fang. Doesn't KO. Okay, they do throw another one. You let this go. Shadow Claw down. Because they have energy on Ninetales already. Okay. Okay. They do... Um, throw the Gleam. Let's see if the opponent shields or not. They do not. Oof. Okay. Uh, likely a bubble beam though, right? Um, but let's see. Yeah, they do a bubble beam. Okay. They come into Needle Queen. Okay, gonna throw the Shadow Ball. Doesn't want to take the Poison Fang. Uh, at least without taking a shield from them. They do end up no shielding. Here comes Frost Loss. Oh man, Frost. Yeah. <laughs> okay, kind of needs this to be a CMP, uh, I think. Let, let's see. Let's see. They do have energy on Frost Lot, uh, on, on Night Tails. Okay. Oh, actually, they don't have don't have any energy here. Gonna call the bait. Um, I think it's actually okay regardless. Uh, because there's no way they'll reach two avalanches. So just gonna shield this and look to land uh, the weather ball and should be able to take out the frost loss. Okay, very nice. Okay, fortunate plays there. Especially with <laughs> the Musa on Drapion is just uh, so awkward for them to deal with that they do have to stay in. Uh, but some really fun games with Shadow Banet. Let me know what you think of those of these battles. If you'd like to so like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.